Alrighty guys, so I have um, just simmed all the way up to week 13, I believe, or well, uh, whatever week. There's three games left that have not been played. I don't know the results of them. I wanted to save this part for us to look together. So this is uh, definitely live, um, and I'm excited. Uh, I don't know what's going to, you know, what the outcome is. I don't even know what the standings are, so we're going to find out together. Um, but I have simmed up to the end of the season, so the rest of these games are going to be very good. Um, Packers fall. The Giants beat the Buccaneers. That's a big win for the Giants. Um, Minnesota over the Bears. Dude, I'm telling you, Minnesota's looking like they could go all the way, man. That's crazy. Pittsburgh over the Chiefs. Miami gets a big win against New England. Um, Colts over the Texans. Dallas gets a big win, and they are now on a win streak. Uh, let's see, ever since they beat um, ever since they beat the Bears, they beat the Bears, then they went and they beat the, um, Giants, and then they beat, uh, Washington, wow, okay, they are on a win streak, they're turning the season around, guys, and, um, okay, so week 10, let's see, Gi Vikings over the Giants, oh my goodness, Colts on a winning streak as well, gotta watch out for them, um, Eagles dominate Washington, maybe they didn't need Tyreek Whitehead, I don't know. Um, Baltimore over Carolina. Jags fall to the Bills. Browns beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. Dallas coming in clutch. A close one over Atlanta. That's something Dallas needs. They are on a roll, guys. I think that brings them back to even now. If not above 500. Um, Seattle edges a close one out against the 49ers. Uh, let's see. Miami dominates the Packers and now they're looking very good wow Miami big 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 things coming in Miami it looks like Rams over the Cardinals Bears fall once again is it the rise of the Cowboys and the fall of the Bears question mark I don't think the Bears have won a game ever since they lost to the Cowboys oh yikes and that is a division game too that's a big one and now I think that puts the Bears under 500 and it's not looking good for the Bears they probably aren't going to go to the playoffs this year. That's that's pretty disappointing, actually, honestly. Um, Giants over Washington. That's a huge win for the Giants. Oh, uh, the Miami Dolphins fall to the Chicago Bears. Wow. Uh, Bears, of course, they got to beat my team. Um, but that's good for the Bears. Not so good for the Dolphins. Um, the Cowboys keep their win streak alive. Whoa, they turned the season around. You got to be kidding me. Cowboys over the Colts barely by two points. Wow, what a game. Um, Jets beating Houston. Buccaneers fall once again. Vikings. Wow, it's a tied game. No one wins. All right, Vikings still looking strong, though. Um, any team on a win streak? Oakland gets a win. Packers get a win. Pittsburgh's not looking too bad. I, I feel like it, they're they're winning a lot. They could, they could make it to the playoffs if, if they keep winning. Um, Eagles, oh my god, they won again. What if we had the Eagles go up against the Miami Dolphins in the Super Bowl? That would be crazy. Tyreek Whitehead goes up against his old team. Could you imagine that? Um, Chiefs um, versus the Rams. Rams fall to the Chiefs. Yikes. And Falcons get a win over the Browns. Uh, Jets Packers. Jets gets a win. Sean Parker there trying to bring his team back to life. Kind of makes me worried for Miami. Hopefully they can go to win. Jacksonville over Houston. Browns get dominated. Yeah, Pittsburgh loses. Eagles lose. Oh, okay. The Eagles lose to the Giants, which means Jaden King. Jaden's trying to get his team to the playoffs, man. And, wow, it's going to go down to the wire, I think. That's a close. That's a good win for them. Patriots fall to Minnesota, of course. That's actually not surprising. I think Minnesota's looking like a very good team in the league right now. Like, top three. Um, Arizona over Chargers. Let's see. Raiders beating Broncos. Okay. Rams over their rivals. Seattle, that's a big game and a big win for them. And uh, let's go. Miami gets a win over Detroit. Let's freaking go. Um, Dallas falls to the Titans. Dallas can't really lose games. They don't want to fall back to 500. I mean, you got, you know... A tough division to, to play in, especially with Jaden 
in the the Giants. Um, that is a rough loss for them. And the Bears finally get back in the win column, beating the Bills. So here we go, week 13. I think this is the last. No, it's not the last week. Okay, week 13, Washington wins against the Titans. That's not going to help the, the uh, Cowboys. Um, Eagles get a shutout. Oh, my goodness, 37-0. And then, yeah, Dallas fell uh, fell again. Washington might take the division. That's that's rough. Falcons do beat the beasting Minnesota Vikings. Um, any upsets? Wow, well, there's the big one right there, of course. Miami losing to the Cincinnati Bengals. Bears losing to Detroit again. Wow, maybe we won't see Cowboys or the Bears in the playoffs. What the heck is going on right now? Wow, okay. 49ers, uh, Oakland falls again. Now, I'm kind of embarrassed, man. I don't know if <laughs> you guys remember, but this is like the the number one team I said that was going to uh, <laughs> to do good this year. I was on the hype train for Jamie Bell. I really was. And, um, well, I mean, it's not him, but the team's just not winning. So, yeah. Uh, Rams dominating huge over the Chargers, 49-10. to 10. Uh, Packers lose. Steelers win. And, yeah. Now, this is the last week. Yeah, this is the last week I simmed right here. So week 14, Eagles at Cowboys. The Eagles beat the Cowboys. Oh no. Dallas not looking good for Dallas. I think it, I think their season's over with. Um that's rough. We are going to look at the standings though. So don't worry. We we will find out if it is over or not. Um Miami falls again to Minnesota. Miami season could be done. Now their division is a little a little we weaker than than other divisions now. The Jets Beat the Bills. Don't know if that helped or hurt Miami. Uh, Saints, Panthers. Panthers win. Rams lose to the Giants. Oh, man. It's not looking good for Dallas. Um, Steelers fall to charge. I don't think the Steelers will make it, depending on how good their division's doing. The Browns win. So, Bears just beat the Packers 23-17. Oh, man. This is going to come down to the wire, I feel like. All right, dude. I can't hold it anymore. Let's go look at the standings. Let's go take a look at them standings. And uh, I already see the Eagles are the number one team in the league. Dude, can you can you believe that, man? As soon as Tyreek Tyreek Whitehead leaves, man, he leaves the Eagles, and they're the number one team in the league. Now, I want you guys to know something. I put them in my top three, so I'm not that dumb, man. Y'all guys got to listen to Metro Metro News Network. You got to, dude. I know what I'm talking about, okay? My one, my top three teams I said to watch out for, look at that. Eagles are, are number one. Um, and, wow. Vikings have already clinched playoffs. Look, we're going to take a look at it, though, by division first. So here we go. AFC North. Let's talk about it. Pittsburgh does have a chance to win this game. With three games left, though, it is still on the table for anybody. Um, Ravens and the Browns, though, cannot lose at all. So chances for the Raven, um, Dustin Swind, I think, is and Jalen Dalton is not looking too good. They will have to win out, and they'll kind of need somebody to lose as well. Bengals. Yeah, who cares about them? I don't think there's any subscribers on there. But Pittsburgh. I would like to see Pittsburgh in the playoffs. Um, so we'll we'll see if they can win. I think as long as they can win, I would say they need to shoot for at least two wins out of the three. You could probably get away with winning one. But you definitely want to try and at least finish 10, 10 and 6 if you're Pittsburgh. But congratulations to Pittsburgh subscribers. Chances are you will make the playoffs, right? AFC South, you got the Colts, Texans, Titans, Jaguars. Jaguars are out of it. Titans, I'm going to go ahead and say, are out of it. Um, Houston, so that leaves us with Houston and the Colts. Um, I'm going for the Colts. I want the Colts to make it. Um, I just, they have a lot of subscribers on their team. Alex Perez, I think, is alone by himself now. And then you have the second string quarterback subscriber, but yeah. 
I think the Colts, it's going to be between them two, of course. It's only one game separating them. So this is if they are going up against each other, I, I want to definitely tune into that game because it will be interesting. Um, AFC East. Whoa, it's up for grabs for anybody except for the Patriots, which is actually so weird saying that. But Tyreek Whitehead left his the number one team in the NFL. Obviously, he didn't know that for the Miami Dolphins. At the, now, at the time of them getting traded, they are both the same record. That kind of sucks, man. What if he would have stayed? You know, I wonder if they'd have the same record and if he'd be going to the playoffs. I don't know. It's up for grabs, though. Anybody in this division could win it. Who wants it the most? I'm kind of hoping that either the Jets or the Dolphins win it. Obviously, I want the Dolphins to get it, but I want one of these two teams because I don't think the Bills have a subscriber on their team. Um, oh. Going to AFC West, we got the Chiefs. I would like the Chiefs to get knocked off by the Chargers or the Raiders. Um, I don't want to see the Chiefs in there again. Uh, Chargers got Rylan Brown, who went all the way to the NFC Championship in year number one and lost to the Bears. Raiders are obviously my number one team that I said was going to be the best and to watch out for. I would really like to see Jamie Bell in his rookie year get up there. So we'll see how that goes. So the NFC North. This is what we're looking at right now. You have the Minnesota Vikings who have clinched playoff division. So the Bears are now, they have clinched their division. But So the Bears are now fighting for the wild card. They didn't make it in year two. And we all know in year one, they won the Super Bowl. They won it all. But they haven't been to the playoffs since. They have a chance to get the wild card. They have to win out, in my opinion. You have to win all three games. You gotta finish nine and seven. Um, we haven't took a, taken a look at the NFC yet, but I just don't like not winning all three games. I really don't think that you can do it. Um, we'll see what happens. Also, you're still fighting the Detroit Lions. Really, it's only a half game difference and if, if y'all come to a tiebreaker Detroit beat you twice so you'll lose so you got to win out in my opinion Vikings though they did what you know they dominated they took it over um NFC South and yeah this is what we're talking about Panthers are 8-5 so we, we could definitely see Jason DeMarco for the first time in the playoffs that would be fun uh the Buccaneers they fall off not gonna get another shot in my opinion they're not technically out of it but you got a team like the Saints up there and this is what, going back to the Bears, they're, they're competing against these teams, like the Saints, the Buccaneers. Right now, the Saints are ahead of you. Because if the Panthers win this division, Saints are going to get a wild card spot, and you wouldn't. You're 6-7, and seven, they're 7-6. and six. It's, it's going to be close, man. Same with the Giants. Eagles, obviously, have won this division, and um, technically haven't clinched it because if the Giants were to win three games and the Eagles lose three games then, you know, that's why. But Eagles, if the Giants win, that's going to hurt the Bears. The Bears need the Saints to lose. They need the, the Giants to lose. And obviously, Jaden is a good quarterback. That's going to be a lot harder. Like, they want it. They want it. Cowboys. Take a look at the Cowboys. They're actually not out of it. Even though they look, it looks bad for them because they're all the way at the bottom of their division, they're basically in the same boat as the Bears. It's so funny. These two teams had a big battle, you know, and they end up in the same position as each other. That's that's bittersweet right there. Um, I would love to as I would love to see both of these teams make it. I just don't. It's gonna be one. If any of them, it's only gonna be one. Um, Cowboys are definitely not winning their division, but they could get the wild card. But Again, both the Bears and the Giants are going to uh, the um, the Bears and the Cowboys are both going to need teams to lose, and they're going to have to win. NFC West um, Rams, we got man. The Rams have made a name for themselves this year, but they're still they're battling out the Cardinals, and the Cardinals aren't giving up easily. This is going to go down, and this is where it really gets pretty interesting. I think, without a doubt, this is where it really kills the Cowboys and Bears' chance. 
one of these teams is going to win this division, and one of these teams is going to get a wild card. Because they're ahead of the game, I, they're not going to lose out. There's no, you know, chances of them losing all three games is very unlikely. So you can definitely bet both of these teams that you're looking at right now, the Cardinals and the Rams, are going to go to the playoffs, which eliminates a wild card spot for the Cowboys or the Bears. It's not looking good for them. I'll put it like that. So overall, there it is. Here's the, here's the NFL as it stands. And um, this is what we're looking at. Who could possibly get the first overall pick in the NFL draft? Jaguars, Packers, Patriots. They're battling for it, I guess. And uh, 49 ers Seahawks. Seahawks is a team that I, I believe I put in my top three. And I'm, I'm really surprised at how they turned out. I mean, you know, sometimes you just can't really predict these things. So, uh, so yeah, that that's it. That's the playoff picture, guys, or at least my take on it. Um, you know, for for a lot of these teams, we'll, we'll see what happens. There's a lot of teams I'd like to see in there, and uh, unfortunately, not everyone's going to be able to get in there. We're not going to look at stats. We're going to look at stats after the end of the season, because um, I'm going to make a long video where I try and cover every single subscriber, so no one gets left out. So I want to dedicate a just a uh, you know a video to that in in itself so this is it though looking at the AFC there you go eight and five Colts eight and five Steelers AFC it's gonna be a lot easier for the six and seven teams to get in rather than the NFC six and seven teams just because the AFC isn't as as dominating as the NFC NFC you have three teams that are kind of you know doing good and uh it is going to be harder for these teams right down here to get in including the falcons cowboys bears so yeah there it is guys i hope you enjoyed the episode though and if you did make sure to smash that like button and um thank you guys so much for the support the series wouldn't be happening without you guys so make sure you tell your friends about the channel. Let's try and get this channel to grow some more, add some more subscribers so we can get more storylines and more characters in this universe that we're building up, man. I love it. And I love you guys. And I hope you guys have a phenomenal weekend and an amazing you know, day. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. All right. Alright, Keisha, you don't want these. You don't want this word. Ow. 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 Dang. Alright.